This experiment is with 1% Santan gum mixture and uh, one, one litre of water with 200 grams of caustic uh, sodium hydroxide pearls. So I'm just going to add them now and stir it all up so nothing can blow up. So this, the purpose of this experiment is just to see what a fresh batch will act like or look like. So you that just there. It may be exactly the same as the other stuff, so I'll soon see. I'm hoping that it's going to be much more easy to apply solution. I just mix it up a litre at a time or something. And maybe it'll be a lot better. It certainly seems to be mixing a bit better at the moment. Yeah, that looks a lot better. A lot better. See, I can see, I can see the, the smoke, well, steam, if you like, from the exothermic reaction. Coming out from the, uh, from the bucket. Just gonna have a little feel. Yeah, it feels very hot. Very, very hot. A lot hotter than last time. So I should continue mixing. And make sure it's all thoroughly mixed up. Nice and good. Can't see any lumps. Which is also very good. But this is the consistency that I've been looking for. So maybe that's what it's all about then. Mix it up fresh on the day. That is what I'm looking for, that kind of consistency. Much better result. surface see what happens with this So I can see already that it's much more willing to stick this time. So I'll give it some time and then come back to it in a few minutes and see what happens. Distance is the gum after 10 or so minutes of sitting around very nice consistency so now have a look at the have a look at the door itself where I've applied it so it's still clinging to it just like before which is exactly the effect that I want so now I'm going to test my agitation theory oh yeah my god look at that wow yeah, okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's uh, a very good result there. 
that really ate through the first, well definitely the first layer, probably the second and third maybe. It's definitely down to the second I think, so just a little bit of agitation with a brush. Kind of came off in a kind of skin. But, you know, so... Okay, so I'll give that a rinse. Rinsing off the Xanfan gum and the caustic. Tiny little bit of pressure. Give the brush a little rinse. Just give it a final, final bit of agitation. Just to make absolutely sure it's got everything. And one last rinse. Well, that's the skin. And literally dissolve the paint underneath that. What I will do is I will give it one more test. One more test just for good measure. And I'll test it. <clears throat> now, lovely consistency. That's exactly what I want. So I will test it down here on those last bits of remaining paint there. Test it on this. Give it a nice good coat on there. It's got a good coat, nice liberal coat, and one last little bit up here, just to see how it cuts through. So you can see, oh blimey, it's already starting to form a skin. Let that do its thing. So the dark green, obviously the top coat. The lighter green could be the reactivated top coat, but maybe the second coat. The darker green underneath that is obviously the third coat. The red under that is the fourth, and the yellow is the fifth. And then there's, there's also a white there, I think. So it could be a sixth. So I'll just let that work and see what happens when I come back. Let that rinse out. Come back to that. So here's, here's the bit that I've been resting for like 20 minutes or so. so Wow, look at that, and that's untouched, solid paint. That is really, really good stuff. So it's definitely, definitely good stuff. Really does work. Give it a nice edge to take. <coughs> May need a couple of applications to really get to the base you know the metal surface or wood or whatever you're applying it to but that is a pretty good result so I should give that a rinse off this is the bit that I already agitated seeming seems to be a very good um, 
and paint stripper. I haven't got my gloves on now, so I'm not going to touch it, but I can touch the brush. Basically, the texture changes with time, and it doesn't really want to stick to the brush anymore. It loses that double cream consistency and just wants to slip off the brush there, as you can see. It kind of forms like a skin. And then when you apply it, this is like after half an hour of making this mix if you apply it, it kind of goes on a bit weird um, not the same as before so that tells me that you need to mix this and use it apply it within half an hour so you get that nice cream coverage and then mix small amounts like a one litre mix or you know up to five liters if you're gonna do like a horizontal surface you know a flat surface you mix five liters if you apply it all within like 10 15 minutes it'll be fine or you know vertical surfaces like fences whatever you can mix it and as long as you as long as you don't hang about with it you know you don't have to rush around like a nutcase but just don't leave it for longer than a half an hour before you use it because it it goes weird and then you just have to throw it away so I'll just dilute it now no point in keeping this anymore just throw this away yeah, it kind of goes weird you can see there it goes like proper slime but it definitely definitely works to remove the paint there's no question in fact let's see well actually it doesn't take too long didn't take too long to work either. I really should be using gloves, but I'm just being careful. You see the skin sort of formation that it does. But yeah, it's definitely an effective paint stripper at least, so I'm presuming that it will work equally as well on, f on other finishes like varnishes or wood stains, something like that. So overall, I'm happy but it obviously can't be stored. So it's mix, use, throw away. It's going to fall. I only left it on there for the shortest possible time anyway, so I'm not really expecting it to take everything off, but, you know, with some agitation. With more agitation. It will further remove it. That's literally just the last little bits of residual that's on there, and that's it.